Today is the 10th anniversary of Ajahn Mahabhu's passing. Every time I think about him, I think about a passage in the canon where the Buddha said he owed his awakening to two qualities. One was not resting content with skillful qualities in the mind, and the other was unrelenting effort. And those two qualities seem to exemplify a lot of Ajahn Mahabhu's practice. He never let himself rest content. If there was something more to attain, something more to do, he would work for it. And he worked persistently in his path. It gives a lie to the idea that you can simply just accept things as they are and that'll be your awakening. Awakening requires effort, takes effort, and a lot of skill. As he emphasized, gaining the insights that lead to real release requires that you take a very inquisitive attitude, you ask a lot of questions. There's a definition in Thai of discernment, the word panya in Pali, as all around knowing in terms of fabrications. And all around means not only what are right in front of your eyes, but what's often the di to the corner of your eye. looking at what's, what's happening and also looking at what you're doing with what's happening. You have to look all around. And as John Mahabha would describe his practice, and that was a lot of it. He'd focus on a particular problem and then realize that he was, wasn't looking all around. When he looked at his perceptions, how they were shaping things. As he said, it, you focus on the aggregates as being bad as being suffering. But then you realize that you're implicated in the creation of the aggregates. They're not out there, they're in here. And you've got to look both out there and in here, all around, if you're going to see what's causing problems. So the effort was partly physical effort. He sat for long hours, do long hours of walking meditation, but also mental effort, trying to figure things out. So to think about him, think about all the Ajans and their practice. It reminds us that the effort we put into the practice is something that's going to be rewarded. He told about how, when he was a young monk studying Pali, what he'd heard from the teachers in Bangkok was that the time for nirvana was past, the time even for jhana was past. So the idea of going out and putting forth an effort in the practice, as he said, seemed to him like an executioner all that effort for no reward. But it was only met a John Munn, then you realize, okay, the teachers in Bangkok were wrong, that the Buddha did not set out the path as an executioner. He left it wide open, and it's agaliko, it's timeless. So we hear the news of the Ajans and their practice. We want to look at our practice. They got results. How are we going to practice so that we can get results? And don't be afraid to put in extra effort, because if it's right effort, it's rewarded. So use your combination of effort and discernment and mindfulness, and see how far you can go.